a review that hasn't even aired, and it's already drawing outrage. NBC News' Megyn Kelly sat down with conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, who suggests mass shootings, including the one at the Aurora Movie Theater, may be the works of a government conspiracy. Now, what's missing from that interview? The voice of the victims. Denver 7's Mark Stewart joins us with that, Mark. And it's generating a lot of conversation here in Denver, across the country, and, of course, online. When someone doubts a tragedy in your own community, it becomes very personal. That's why the father of a man killed in the Aurora shooting is talking with us today. His pain is far from make-believe. As you will hear, it is very real. As a father of a murdered son, um, you need to remind people that, you know, we, we have to get through every single day. Talking to Tom Sullivan, you'll learn the hurt from losing a son is both emotional and physical. His son Alex died in the Aurora massacre. I, I had no idea how painful this would be. I didn't, I didn't know that there is a, you know, a physical pain that you endure every day. As Sullivan lives through the daily pain, online commentator Alex Jones questions the disaster. Again, you know it's staged. Suggesting the shooter was recruited by the government. He was just in the neuroscience department there, Department of Defense funded. Outrageous accusations that will be getting primetime attention during an interview with Megyn Kelly. We shouldn't allow someone, you know, him to be able to spout the garbage that he does on a network show. This is definitely a psyop. Unsettling Sullivan and other survivors, including Sandy Phillips, whose daughter Jessica died in Aurora, tweeting, she lived, she loved, she was slaughtered. Look at her, see her, try to feel our pain. We have reporters and cameramen and, and, and news reporters who were there outside of that there who saw the bodies, you know, being brought out. Prompting Sullivan to clarify what is already well documented. This is nothing but noise. You don't need to hear this. This isn't a, a legitimate um, person. For the moment, Tom Sullivan is not planning to watch the interview on Sunday. He does hope, though, Megyn Kelly challenges Mr. Jones, so there's no question what he's been saying is false. I'm Mark Stewart, Denver 7.